Born again believer. 
Irish. One church, one Lord, and one baptism. Have we not learned that? One church, one Lord, and one baptism. Have we not learned that? We not preach that. For where a man's heart is, there will his treasure be also. I wonder today. It work work where we go to a place after a little while. It's not too quiet over there. The last I read in my Bible, what really happens over there? It's not a quiet place. I also read earlier, I don't know where God wants me to go, and I don't know how long He wants me to preach. I don't even know if I'm going to dig into this maybe until tomorrow. But I also read in my Bible where Jesus rejoiced. Yes. I read that earlier, about three, four hours ago, I read in my Bible where Jesus rejoiced. The Savior rejoiced. I also read in my Bible. That God sent out 70 disciples. They just come back rejoicing, glad. He said, Lord, <laughs> even all these demons and all these things were able to heal and all these things of the devil are subject unto us. We've got to We've got the power. Amen. They rejoiced in that, that they Amen. had the power. Yeah. And Jesus also said, Rejoice not in that demons are subject, but rejoice because your name has been written yes. out in the Lamb's book of life. I Lord, wonder today yes. how many Christians do we really have? People don't want to rejoice until their bellies are full. People don't want to rejoice until the preacher is.
him in a little bit. But Jesus said, I humble Satan. Did they humble Satan? Jesus said, I humble Satan. Read it in your Bible. So when he said, I shall tread on serpents, and they'll not harm me. That's been a costly preach of that. Now get up out this church. Well, listen here, people. It's still the Word of God. That's yes, what it is. It is the Word of God. I told you I've learned a lot. There's a lot of Baptist pre preachers today need to step out of their comfort zone and start reading the Bible and what it says. There's a lot of people need to preach it like it really is. And yes. Like it really says. Yes. And they need an understanding of this. It came by the power of Jesus Christ. He said, I humbled Satan. If he didn't humble Satan, it would have never happened. If they would have drank a deadly plant, you know what would have happened? They would have died. If you know if they would have been foolish enough to pick up the rattle in the desert, you know what would have happened if they didn't die? They would have died, brother. I, let me tell you something. When God ordains His own, God will take care of His own. Yes. When God is in it, God will take care of it. Yes. Amen. I don't serve a failing God. Amen. They didn't serve a failing God. They still on the throne. Amen. I'm glad some of you need to look and go to sleep tonight. Get your own book out. Look, see if your name's still in there. Right? See if the name's still in there. Last time I checked, ain't nobody blow my name out.
eastern sky yeah. after a while. And the Bible said it'll roll back like a scroll. And listen, you know what's going to happen? There's going to be a lot of people that wish they was here in revival. Oh, they wish they's here. And I'm going to say this tonight. I'm glad I'm here, ain't you? Yeah. I'm glad I'm here. Uh, what about you? I'm glad my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm glad that God loved me enough. Huh? See an old wretched soul. I'm real glad that he looked way back. Huh? Looked way back. Call my name out. Boy, ain't you glad? I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm a Christian. I'm glad I know what it's like to be a Christian. Am I perfect? Not at all. Have I failed others? Yes, sir, I have. If I let people down along the way, I'm sure I have. As others expected me to do something that I didn't do, I'm sure there is. But you see here, I'm not living on works. I'm not living on really what you think of me. In this day and time, what we're living in, we need to get past all those things. Like we used to preach, keep your eye on the prize. After a while. Yes. yes. After a while, you hear me. You see, when you get real close to die. Amen. I, when you remember that? I just mentioned it just, just one night ago. You get real, real close. Taking your last breath, you'll find out there's only God left. Amen. Nobody can take your place. You will stand there in that place, and you will stand alone. Nobody can pray it in, pray it out, wash it up, clean it up. Nobody can do any of those things for you. You know, there's a lot of people. Can I just be honest? Uh, somebody say amen. You want, you want to be a liar? Amen. Amen. You still got a mouth? Come on. Woo -woo -woo. Makes noise like them kids do. Huh? That mouth likes to run outside of the church, but it don't want to run in here. Amen. Come on. <laughs> well, let's just be honest. Amen. We do a lot of talking out there, don't make a lot of noise. Don't get new jobs together, will you? We get excited about driving an old 350 Chevy around. We get, you should have heard this. Joy! God gave us that. I believe that, don't you? Uh, last time I checked, you don't do everything. Because uh, after a while, you know what's going to happen? You're going to burn it up. We all go on this one, then what? I'm going to be honest with you real quick. There's a lot of people coming to church anymore, but they sure ain't this one. There's a lot of people that's doing a lot of hearing, but they ain't doing no doing. They hear the word, but they sure in the world won't do the word. You know, there's a lot of people that I know that used to go to church every Sunday, and you'll find them on Saturday, you know what they're doing? Drinking Jack Daniels and listening to Hank Williams Jr. And they make way more noise in that dark than I ever heard them ever make in God's house. But you know why? You can't get through the righteousness of God. If you don't live right, you ain't going to shout right. God, don't mess with foolishness. Did that put them out of line? Did that make them not saved? I'm not the one to judge, but I'm here to tell you I've seen it with my own eyes. You'll see somebody and they'll handshake you and say, yes, oh, it's praise the Lord. That's because I was standing in the midst or maybe you were standing in the midst. Then after a while, you walk over to the side and you'll find out they was nothing like you never heard that again. You never heard praise the Lord again. You never heard that You know what the saddest thing of that is? Why are you fooling God? Oh, that's right. You're not fooling God. You're just fooling yourself. Come on. Last time I checked, God knows you're very intense of a person's heart. Yes. Uh, the very intense of your heart and where it's at. Yes. But I really think tonight, I really think just down the road, maybe your neighbor. Is lost and undone on his way to hell. Without a shadow of a doubt. 
And you say, well, it's coming to church going to make me a Christian. Not at all. Not at all. It's coming here, giving your tithes, it's back to you and his daddy starting a new church, going to get them to heaven. Not at all. And most of the time, to be honest, I say, good luck getting the church started in 2024. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. See, how do you say it? God's people. That ain't say it. I wonder tonight why there's not eight different churches represented in this revival. People are separating themselves from God. Amen. People and religion and works and beliefs and all those things are trying to separate the church. But what is the church? Is it not that which is saved, that which has been blood bought and born again and washed and all those good things? I need baptism, but it's good to be baptized in it. A lot of people don't even have a chance to get baptized because they're laying on the back and reading hospital, taking it real close to their final breath, and they'll ask the Lord to come into their heart. But I'll say this today. You wonder why there is no shout? You don't want to shout. You know why they don't have revival anymore? They don't want revival. You know why we're struggling? There is no support. There is no ministerial support. We're prideful. Living in the last days. Men become lovers of lust. Lust, things that feel good, act good, sound good. High-minded preachers all over the country. If I do this, I'll fill the house. We'll have a hundred thousand dollars by next year. We'll be able to pay the church off in five more years. Boy, I'd much rather be in the brokest church in all this country and have the power of God than to be in a millionaire's mansion. Simple questions. He said, You believe Jesus died? 
greatest news I think I ever heard in my life. I walked down there and I remember going home and I said, Daddy, I got saved today in church. I got saved. Some of you need to take yourself back Amen. when you got saved. Well, Sir, up that joy inside of you again. And so I'm too old to shout. That's all that happened. When an 80-year-old man was over all about fell on Oh, she tell me. I, let me. Let me tell you this. Uh, what about a 900-something-year-old woman? I, I, well, still living, huh? Yeah. Amen. What about the old uh, uh, still having a fertile womb? Uh, yeah. What about that? Huh? Come on. What about all those promises we read in God's Word? And you yeah. tell me I can't and God still trying to tell you you can't. Come on. We still preach all things are possible through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. Hey, not a, hardly anybody believes that anymore. But I know what it's like to wade a river to where you don't have enough strength to get back home and you thank God to give you enough strength. I know what it's like to belly call out of a car with broken bones and you're thanking God in the car. I'm still alive, Lord. I'm still alive. Boy, it's going to be a long road. I, I'm glad I serve one even when you ain't there. God's yeah. still there.
was having a revival, though. We couldn't wait. Okay. And Paul drove three hours every night. Amen. Three hours just driving. And then turn around and have a two and a half, three hour service. We didn't get home until 11, 12 o'clock for a week straight. Amen. Wore out. But filled up. Hold on, I said, I was worn out. But I was filled up. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know what the Lord's going to give us tomorrow. But I'll pray this. Them singers come, they sing for the glory of God. Amen. I don't know what this altar is going to be used for tonight. Most of the place should go anymore, they used it all. Right. Tears done dried up on them. Yeah. People forgotten how to pray. Don't want to pray. Too much, too much effort to get up out of the seat. Pray for somebody. You know, I remember when one person came, 10 or 20 came, didn't they? Amen. What's wrong with people? What the world's wrong with this world? What's wrong with a Christian? Should a Christian do that? Say, cast your cares upon me and to love ye one another. Yeah, come on. Cast your cares and your burdens upon one another. Why? So you can lift each other up yeah, yeah. and have fellowship one with another. I know one comes, they want everybody to look at me. Look at her. Then they, you know what? Most of them don't come in work because they're afraid somebody else might see and think they're not living right. But you know what? You ain't living right sitting where you're at. Hey, <laughs> hey you're still wrong. But you think you fooled everybody else, but you sure in the world didn't fool God. God knows you before you get in here, and God knows you when you get out. If people play in church, play in God. 